welcome back. For those of you who don't know, I just bought my 2013 Genesis Coupe and I love this car to death. I really, really do. But there are already some things that have gone wrong with it and that just, that just really sucks. The thing is though, is that pretty much all of the problems it has aren't even really its fault. It's what the previous owner did to it. Some of these problems I have already fixed and or have ordered parts to fix them. So um, starting off the first problem that I've already fixed was these wheels here. Obviously now they look, they look pretty great and they used to be this disgusting looking gold color. It wasn't even shiny, like it was, it was really bad. When I got this car, that was like the first thing I did was fix that because it was so bad. It looked so terrible. Pretty much all the plastic up jobs that the last owner did on this car were really, really bad. Like he did really thin coats of dip and it was terrible. It was, it was so terrible. Now we move around to the back, back here. Just, oh my, oh my, oh my God. Oh my gosh, he's got such a nice booty. The problem back here is this stuff. It's like these little dots. I'm sure you guys can see them. They're these little goldish dots that are all across the top portion of the back bumper. And I'm pretty sure it's dip. And I've tried to remove it like multiple times. Like, and when I say multiple times, I mean multiple times. So to fix that, I would have to get the bumper repainted. So that's, that's, that's great. As for this thing's next problem, I can't really show it to you, but I can tell you about it. And it's that the suspension is pretty much dead. Um, the struts are pretty much, pretty much blown. They creak and stuff when it, when it turns at low speed. So that's super fun. But that's actually the least of my worries because I've already ordered new suspension to replace that. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but it's going to be great. This next problem is actually under the hood. So let me just go ahead and open this girl off right here. All this little gold plastic dip. Yes, he dipped stuff in the engine bay. He did like all of the little caps and stuff and it's come off obviously because of heat. The last issue this thing has is on the interior and this is kind of like a really common Genesis Coupe problem. Like they pretty much all run into this, at least all the 2013s as far as I know all have this problem. And it's that this silver paint stuff they used on the interior, like right here on the steering wheel, um, and then over there on the door, and yeah, around the cup holder and on the door over there. It's just like, it's not really good paint and it's obviously chipped off and that sucks, but I'm just gonna wrap it. I don't know what yet. I'm definitely taking suggestions if you guys would like to see something cool in here, like I don't know, I could color match it to the outside or do carbon fiber. There's a, there's loads of possibilities. Just let me know in the comments. And now in talking about all these issues, I can talk about what chapter one is all about. And that's kind of restoring this car to what it once was, but I'm not gonna restore it back to exactly what it was. Like I'm not going to get this stuff in the interior repainted and I'm not gonna, you know, redip the engine bay or anything. I'm going to, to, to modify and change these things and make this car better. I'm just gonna change all these things for the better and and at the same time, I'll be fixing them. Honestly, I'm, I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to get this thing looking like super pristine again. Because besides the issues I just pointed out, this car looks looks fantastic. Like it's it's in great condition other than that. But that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.